Well, in, in here, we have uh, some results. Of in here, we have some results obtained by students. Uh, they determined the water density using four different kinds of glassware, the volumetric pipette, the backer, uh, the graduated pipette, and the uh, graduated cylinder. They determined water density using uh, choose glassware. Well, the first thing that they showed us is to check for outliers. Outliers might strongly affect the results and the data interpretation. So we can go to descriptive statistics in JASP uh, and we select uh, the quantitative variable that was the water density. And uh, we choose to split the data according to the qualitative variable, uh, that is the glassware which were used to obtain the water density. It is inserted in here and they go to plots. We are going to see in plots, we're going to do box plots. You, I am going to select the guitar elements to show the points over the box plots. Uh, I like this color palette that is GG plot, and we are going to mark out your results. Now, Jaspin is doing the box plots, and uh, they are going to show if there is any outlier results, we're going to check. Uh, JASP is doing the box plots. And in here, the, the standard configuration of the software, uh, just do a, a quick, quick descriptive statistics of the data sets. And we have in here the means, the standard deviations, minimum and maximum values obtained. Well, the water density at the room temperatures uh, were closed for one. Uh, we can observe that the, the density, that the density determined by students uh, were really close from the, the expected water density. The software is still thinking, but you can select uh, box plots, just going to descriptive statistics and going to the plots. It's a very simple way to, to do it. Uh, we can also go to statistics and select another, another descriptive statistics parameters. For example, the, the median, you can show in this table uh, the man and the median um, uh, in the interquartile range range and uh, the Shapiro-Wilk test. Shapiro-Wilk test will be used to check for that normality. Well, now it is done. Uh, here, uh, you can see that we have the Shapiro-Wilk test in here. Uh, the Shapiro-Wilk test showed that the data was normally distributed. And uh, it also showed that we have the outlier results in here, that this observation was classified as outlier, and it must be deleted, uh, take out from the data set before we can do any other kind of statistical evaluation of the data set. This is the first video of this series.